Hi there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a filter from J&K Aquatics under their own brand label. It is the Better 1050 canister filter. Now I'm filming this on my phone so the picture quality may not be very good, I don't know. I've never done it before on my phone but my camera kept steaming up because it's so cold in here. So apologies if this video quality isn't very good. That is it there. As you can see, it's a decent sort of size, especially when you consider it's only around about 70 to 80 English pounds. It's got four nice clips all the way around. It's got an in and an out on the top, and it's got a priming button slash shaft sort of thing here. A little bit like the Fluval filters, which is obviously going to be easier when you get water in. So that goes up and down and helps to prime it. And also on the top, it's got quite a nice handle here, which is pretty strong, and that'll help you to lift it away from the cabinet without dropping it on the floor or without the risk of popping these clips off when you're carrying it. And talking of these clips, I'll give you a close-up. They're nice and strong. Surprisingly strong, actually, when you consider how cheap the filter is. And that's good. So top comes off, that's our pump head, that's where the water comes in from the tank, goes down here through the tube that's created by the trays, into the bottom, rises back up and then is drawn out by the pump and returned back to the tank. And then in here underneath the grid we've got three trays, one, two, and approximately an inch of space underneath the trays at the bottom. So from the bottom up we've got a reasonably coarse pad followed by some plastic balls. Next tray is a pad which looks just about the same as the blue one except this one's white and some ceramic rings which actually look a little bit more like sintered glass rings they, they look pretty good quality and then in our final tray we've got another one of those fine pads or fine-ish pads followed by a big cartridge with approximately uh, maybe it's a handful yeah roughly a handful of carbon in there followed by a very fine screening pad on the top, which will no doubt be described as the polishing part of the filter. Now the carbon is in the right place there, so that would always be last in your system. And as this works from bottom up, that's where the carbon would be. That is good. The rest is okay quality, but all in the wrong place. Oh, bottom tray, I think we'll leave that. That's the blue, reasonably coarse but suspiciously fine looking <laughs> pad <laughs> it feels coarse but it looks fine it's it's a difficult thing to sort of describe unless you're actually feeling it it's the same with that one it feels coarse but it looks quite fine and you can't really see much light through it either so that's going to be good at trapping the dirt so in the bottom tray we'll go blue pad white pad white pad all of that came with a filter, so that's great. That's our mechanical filtration done in the bottom of the filter. And also in the bottom of there, we've got enough room to put some of those ceramic or sintered glass rings. So I will be putting an inch of rings in the bottom of here. Like so. So our bottom tray goes in. And then we can follow that up with two trays of filter media. That's our trays filled with media. In each one of these trays, we've got 1.1 kilograms of the Biohome Ultimate, which is roughly 2.3 pounds, I think. So for the two trays, that's 2.2 kilograms, or roughly, for, uh, what is it, 4.6 pounds. So they drop in on top of our mechanical tray. 
and then the grid goes back on the top like so and that's the filter done fully pimped up very quickly of course if you wanted to use um, chemical media or anything like that you would use that in the top tray but this one we're not going to do that because there really is no need for chemical media unless you actually need chemical media and that will make sense to some people and this is actually a very well made filter okay so a few facts and figures on the filter the pump shifts 1050 litres per hour which is 276 US gallons per hour but bear in mind that is at zero head with nothing in the filter so you can probably take about 40 to 50 percent off that so the actual flow from this filter by the time you get it set under your tank all the pipes connected and everything set up in the filter it'll probably be around about 600 litres per hour which is approximately 158 US gallons per hour. According to the manufacturer, the maximum tank volume this is suitable for is 230 litres or 61 US gallons. It only consumes 15 watts of power, so it's not going to cost you much to run. It's got three trays in there and the lift from the filter to the highest point it'll pump to is approximately 1.4 meters and that is about four foot eight we've got pretty much bang on the right amount of meter in here if this is suitable for a tank of 230 liters and we've got 2.2 kilograms in here very easily and we could probably squeeze more in we might get another two or three hundred grams in there um, yeah that does make it suitable for a normally stock tank of up to 230 litres or 61 gallons. That is if you want to see a full cycle, which is a reduction of ammonia, nitrite and nitrate. And that's why we're using the BioHome Ultimate. Basically, if you put enough of it in, it provides enough habitat for enough anaerobic bacteria to consume the nitrate. And that's what you're after. Or that's what you should be after if you want a complete cycle. So for a heavily stocked tank, you could say it'd be roughly half of that. So that'll be 150. 15 litres or thereabouts which is about ooh, what is that 30 to yeah 30 to 31 US gallons heavily stocked yeah so big thanks to Hakim for sending me this uh, yeah it's a good filter I think that's money well spent and I think he got a good deal on it as well from what he was saying so all the best for your tank um, it's a good filter well made doesn't shift a vast amount of water, but turnover rate isn't everything. Um, holds a decent amount of media. It's got nice features. Very easy to put together. Uh, yeah, should last a long time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you're interested in any other filters, check out the playlist, which is called Pimp My Filter. There are a nation of them. I think to date there's probably 84, 85 or something. And I will be adding to it as more filters become available. But remember, I can't do it without you guys. I've only got this far through the series because people send me the filters to upgrade. And then I fill them up and send them back at my own cost. So the only thing it's going to cost you guys is the cost for the postage or shipping to get it to me. And that's just within the UK. It's not that much for a pimped up filter. And a shout out on the channel. Thanks again to Hakeem. See you next time.